Hi and welcome to my first vlog for this year. My name is Tom Duncan and uh, I live in Tasmania which is the little tiny dot at the southern part of Australia. We live at the very southern area of southern Tasmania with a very temperate climate. Um, winters falling to zero and occasional frost. Some snow but rarely. Summers mid-twenties sometimes hitting 30. Uh, today very cloudy, very foggy and around oh, 10, 12 degrees. So we're coming into, getting out of autumn, coming into our winter period now. So it's certainly getting nippier. You won't see me in shirt sleeves much longer, but I'll always have the hat on. Lynn and I, along with Ben, our puppy dog, will be taking you through the areas, probably in southern Tasmania. We'll try and get to the rest of Tasmania, but certainly the southern Tasmania to start with. Um, this first one is um, just about 10 kilometres around this area, around Police Point, um, from Port Huon up to Savars Bay. So it's just a, a small area on the Huon River. Huon River is the, the main river in this part of the district. What we want to do is to give you an idea of the area. Um, the photography, um, both stills and moving images, is courtesy of myself and Lynn. Um, I'm an ex-television cameraman. I spent all my life behind the lens so uh, very rarely will you see me in front and in fact this will probably be the very first and last time you'll see me in front. You'll hear my dulcet voice unfortunately which I'll be explaining the area, talking about the apples to the salmon industry and then later on cherries and the wonderful other diverse interests around this area. We live in a very, very quiet area. It's farming all around us. Population around here is about, I don't know, half a dozen people. It's uh, very, very quiet. Tasmania has only got 500,000 people and most of them live in Hobart, which is the capital city, and Launceston, which is the, the main city in the north of Tasmania. So it's a very quiet, relaxed, easygoing lifestyle. I was born in Tasmania. I spent 28 years in Tasmania, then moved off to Queensland. Spent the next 40 years in Queensland and uh, came back three years ago with my wife. She's a Queenslander and uh, Lynn and I just love it down here. We're having a, a wonderful time and, uh, and in my retirement time I'm uh, enjoying taking photographs and uh, want to show you around and give you a look at this gorgeous area called Tasmania and Tassie really rocks. travel only a kilometre down the road to reach the Huon River, winding its watery way down its 174 kilometre length and is joined by 26 tributaries. And near the mouth of its river, it can be as wide as five kilometres. It travels from South West National Park to Dotracasco Channel before flowing into the Tasman Sea. Though it is only the fifth longest river in the state, we believe by far the most beautiful. Huonville, Franklin, Port Huon, Dover and Signet are all situated on its banks, but we'll be concentrating this time on the areas from Port Huon to Surveyors Bay. At Brooks Bay there is a converted apple shed, which is now a weekender for some lucky family. An apple shed more famous now than it was in its heyday of apple storage. Before the 1970s, Tasmania was often called the Apple Isle in reference to its outstanding apple industry. Apples are indeed a part of Tasmania's history, from when William Bly anchored in Adventure Bay on Bruny Island in 1788 and planted a selection of fruit, including three apple seedlings, the first apple trees planted in Australia. Apples were an important crop in Tasmania from early colonial settlement until the present. 
Port Huon is a small community with big sweeping views of the Huon River and the Hearts Mountains. It was once a busy trading post and the destination for international apple boats that transported the region's famous apples to the world. The original port remains as a quaint reminder of the glory days of apple growing. At the far end of the valley, past Port Huon is Chiefston, gateway to the nearby Hearts Mountains National Park and Terhune Forest Airwalk. With unbelievably fresh projects, beautiful countryside, wilderness and waterways, a drive down the Huon Valley makes a great day's entertainment. Turning off Esperance Coast Road, you can make your way up the Ivergully Road. Take it slow and easy on this road in all sorts of weather. It is very windy and narrow, but in the right season, there is a lovely waterfall just on the side of the road. It has room to pull over and take a photo of the year. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Tasmania lies in the Roaring Forties, as all good students used to be taught. With that brings its own joys and sorrows. Some love the rough weather, but for some it brings destruction in its wake. Two weeks ago, we endured a night of high winds from the west, the worst reaching 116 kilometres an hour. Six and seven metre waves are a common sight in the season, and two days ago Hobart and Kingston suffered a massive storm damage, news of which were broadcast to the far reaches of the world. The sight of cars washing away down the main streets of Hobart were a shock and horror for locals unused to such horrible things. Our favourite beach suffered a loss of several feet of sand and is now littered with never before seen rocks. So sometimes we don't go to the river for a spot of fishing. Sunrises and sunsets, even from the same position, are often awe-inspiring and spectacular. The sunrises over the Huon River are an early rises delight in summer and everyone's delight in winter when the days are so much shorter. Every one of them are different, with multitudes of colours and shades lighting up the sky. Looking across the river at these times often captures the moment perfectly in reflection on the mill pond surfaces of the river. The days of burn-offs in autumn gives us the red spectrum well, the summers offers us a full golden glory. Salmon farming is a new and huge industry in Tasmania, estimated to be worth in excess of half a billion dollars a year. Many people love the idea, good for the economy, a great tweet. Not by me, however, I'm allergic to all seafood. Many of the believers of salmon farming are employed by the industry in one way or the other. With Tasmania short on jobs, the salmon industry was a godsend and welcomed with open arms by the government as a much needed source of jobs and income. For the non-believers, however, the salmon industry is a detriment to the environment and to Tasmania as a whole. Many believe that the industry inflicts damage to the tourism industry because of the unsightly pens in the river, but more importantly because of the ongoing and perhaps irreversible damage to the environment, the very thing that brings the tourists in droves to our beautiful state. With unbelievably fresh projects, beautiful countryside, wilderness and waterways, a drive down the Huon Valley makes a great day's entertainment. Scattered along the Huon Highway which follows the Huon River for much of its journey, you will find roadside stalls dotted along the way. In these you will find fresh fruit and sometimes vegetables. Apples are always in good supply and are kept in cold storage on the farms. They make for a lovely munch while driving and enjoying the ever-changing scenery.
Tasmania is a tourist mecca. It has unsurpassed beauty and untamed wilderness. There are few places that you can now go in the world that over 50% is kept in reserves. The rivers here are wide and blue, the air the cleanest in the world, the people are friendly, the place is lovely. Come and visit our state, Tasmania.